And good evening, everybody. This is Michael Filigera. I am with LogicalSignals.com and also TradersHelpingTraders.com. And this is the Elliott Wave update for the S&P 500 for Thursday, September 16th, 2021. There's not much to be adding to current analysis. So I will just jump in by saying that uh, the first thing that I did is that where I have labeled minor wave one down, I've added that it could be minor wave one or minor wave a and that would be of that same if this ends up being an a b c down and we get to that uh level that i'm anticipating which is down around 43 47 then and it comes down in five waves and i can label that as either three or c and what i'm really determining right here is that is this initial leg of this corrective phase that we're in just going to end up being an ABC, and that would be labeled wave A, or is it going to be a five wave structure down, which of course would then still be labeled wave A, but I need to leave uh, those processes open until the market actually finishes the move. Then we'll be able to determine what comes next. For right now though, it remains in the process of tracing out a minor degree bounce. And that either is going to be labeled as wave two or B. And I will put it on the chart as such. Now within that, I have determined that A wave is done. The B wave finished today. And now we're in the C wave and that advance should continue. It uh, got stuck just below the 50 day moving average on the hourly chart. And if I just drop this down, to the 30 minute chart, we'd be able to see some of those internals here. You can see it's just one, two, three, and this looks like it's a fourth wave, small fourth wave correction. Uh, again, getting a little deep, uh, but the market will tell us. So what's left is for it to actually put in the finishing move of the C wave and get itself above 44.7850. I would be looking for a new high. Otherwise, then we would then have to consider this a failure. And we would do so if the market again starts to break below 44.56. I think that's what that is. Yes, 56.25. So if it starts to break below 44.56 with some follow through, then this small correction is likely complete and it would have ended in a failure. So, but. As it stands right now, I'm going to continue to look for a finishing advance up to above 44.78. Our first little cluster comes in right here at 44.86 and 87. So between 86 and 87, we have uh, Fibonacci resistance. Uh, the first is a 50% retracement level of the entire correction. And the second there at 44.87 is where this C wave would be equal in length to the A wave. And that is the most common relationship between an A and a C wave. So this doubles up to be a pretty logical place for this to complete. Now, tomorrow is a pretty large expiration cycle. It is the monthly, but it also has some weeklies. Now the SPX and the ES options have uh, uh, their first expiration is in the morning. So there's a morning expiration and that is uh, derived off of the opening price. So once all 500 stocks are open, they take that price and that is the settlement price for those AM expirations, all those options. And those are both in the SPX and they're also in the ES. And then there's an additional expiration, which is of course in the afternoon, uh, once the market closes, then there's the second expiration. So on that morning expiration, it seems to be lining up pretty cleanly around the 470 to 480 area. And that's why I believe we'll likely start to get, hopefully a little bit of a, a rise here uh, to complete the move and then also would be in line with what expectations are for expiration. Um, outside of that, I, it, it's, we're not 
clear yet as to how high this market may or may not go and when that turn will come because only the market can tell us that. So, but being that this would be completing a wave two or a B wave, both have the same consequence. The next uh, move would be down and it's going to be a five wave structure. Again, either it's going to be wave three or it can be a C wave. And as I've already said before, uh, under Elliott, we know that all C waves, no matter if it's on up, the C wave going up or C wave going down, all C waves are five wave structure. So that's what I would be looking for. And again, uh, begin to bring the market down towards our levels. Let me go back out to the hourly chart to easier to see, which would be down to this lower level. And I can, I was, I'm going to leave this up for right now, but what I'm going to add on is another set, which are the retracements. And those retracements are for this first leg of the correction. And those would be just the retracements from the, the low of wave four to the top of wave five. And those come in, and then I can just take this one off and leave that one up. So you can see they're coming off. We do have support at 44.25, which is the previous low. And then again, we have some support at 44.07, which is a uh, 70%. So this, this particular down structure in its entirety would equal 70%. We'll retrace back 70% of that fifth wave. Um, I expect even lower, but additional support is going to come in at 43.71. So we have 44.07, then 43.71, and then that 43.47 area. And that's where I would be looking initially. And it could go below or it could go above. So once we do get this top in, and then the market begins to turn, we'll start to look for it to break, start breaking some of these support levels. And then also we will be looking at our moving averages to start give us confirmation. Now here again, that 200 day moving average on the hourly chart provided pretty stiff resistance today. And thus far as it's been declining, it has stopped all the rally attempts. The first one at 44.78.50, but then it has come more than once here. It got to 76 and here it got to 76.50, both times shy of that 200 day moving average. And then the market started to pull back off of those levels. In fact, this morning after it hit that level, it basically just tumbled all the way back down to the low and then rallied all the way back up to the session highs. So as far as the, uh, Hourly candles are concerned, it was a flat day. It was down to the low and back up to the high. So it just continues to form this hourly box, you could call it. So we needed to break out of the box to get up and finish the move. And we know we have a resistance at 44.86 and the 44.87. So all right in that zone, it's very tight, but it makes sense. And it would include a break above here which would likely force some a little bit of acceleration as, as triggers are like around there. So maybe there's stops or there's just triggers to buy, et cetera, et cetera. So we could be looking for something to just kind of pop real quick and that may happen. And then once we get that turn, the first confirmation that the turn is in progress would be again on this hourly chart, doesn't have to be big, but just a five wave decline. And that'll give us some confirmation that the correction is over and that the next wave down has begun. Now, the alternate view to all of this right here, this corrective phase, this is an ABC. And this basically is an ABC down. So we can say A and B, but there is that possibility that this completed that small wave two or B wave. And now we're getting this wild ride with this uh, being wave one and then wave two of 
three and wave two, as we know, can retrace nearly 100% of wave one. Cannot exceed it, but it can come up pretty dang close. And that might be what is just has taken place. So a couple of opportunities or a couple of, of options that we have in terms of what is happening. Either one still suggests and follow that follow through will be to the downside. If we still need a little bit more room on this wave two, then I'm looking for 4487. If indeed this this completed it in these levels, then I'd be looking for it to just turn and start to accelerate lower. So that's really why I'm bringing that up. If we just start to accelerate through all of this, then this way that that corrective wave is done, and we're dropping into the next sequence lower. And that's where I'm going to leave it. And the next update will actually be on Sunday. 